<laughs> hey, how's it going? Uh, I'm Zach. This is Michael. Hey, hi, Michael. <laughs> That's uh, funny. funny. Ever do that again? Yeah. Hey, so we want to talk to you about something that we think is very, very, very crucial and important to just your spiritual life. And that's having your own personal quiet time or time of devotion or whatever you want to call it. What do you call it? I call it um, quiet time. Quiet time? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So one of the things that we utilize here is something called life journaling. And Michael here heard it. Aren't you? I wouldn't say expert, but mm. um, it has been very transformative for me in my spiritual life. So we hope that we can teach you a little bit more about it. Michael, what's uh, step number one? Well, step number one is to get the life journaling reading plan on your mobile device or a hard copy that you can refer to so you know what you're reading for that day. You can do that on our mobile app, which is uh, on every app platform. It's FCC EBV. You can get it on Google Play Store, you can also get it on the Apple Store, or you can go to our website at FCCEVV.com backslash life journaling and get a copy of the plan there as well. But we all want to be reading the same thing every day together. All right, sweet. Get access to the plan, then what? Now watch the plan, what you're going to want to do is find the day of the reading. Um, and there'll be a few different scriptures listed for you that day because this plan will actually take you through the Old Testament once and the New Testament twice over the course of a year. But it is not an overwhelming amount of reading. So you want to get that plan, find that day, and then dig into the scripture. If that's too much text for you to read today, I want to encourage you to just read the New Testament. And if there's a psalm included, then read that as well. Oh, slow down, good sir. Going a little fast there. So you just jump in and you just read all of that. And that's life journaling. You just read the plan. Well, there's more to it than that, young Zachary. There's an acronym called SOAP that we want you to follow as you read. And there's four simple steps that you're going to walk through as you read through the text for that day. And the first letter in SOAP is, of course, S, and that stands for the Scripture. So what you're going to want to do as you read through the text for the day, as you read through that Scripture, is highlight any verses or underline the verses that really stand out to you as you're, as you're soaking that in and as you're reading through it. And then you're going to revisit that in the next few steps. And once you have finished reading through all that text and you have some things underlined, what I, we need you to do is just to pick one Scripture that you have underlined and take that and write it down in your journal because it's gonna help you to remember what that is. And that will lead you into the next step, which is O, which stands for observation. What you're gonna to wanna to do is just write down some observations about the text. Who is the original audience? What is the author trying to communicate to them? And what is the, what is the setting that's surrounding this text? All right, now, the next letter is the letter A, and this is where it's going to take up a little bit more of your time because this is the personal application side of life journaling. What we want you to do is just apply this to your life. What is God trying to communicate to you? Perhaps it's a revelation of a new promise. Maybe it's a correction or a discipline in a particular area of your life. But really take some time to figure out what God is trying to say to you through this verse that you've chosen to write about. Oh, so that means I'm going to have to, like, read the Bible and try to apply it to my own life and think about how I have to change it? Who the heck does that? Christians. Okay, let's move on. Okay, so the last letter is the letter P, and what you're gonna do with this is you are going to pray through that scripture. Um, however it is you wanna to respond to it, whatever it is you wanna to say to God about what you have just read, spend some time praying, and you can pray that in, in your head, or you can write that down in your journal as well. Not a lot. It's really easy to pick up, but for those who maybe don't understand entirely, could you maybe do an example for us? I would love an example for you. I want to share with you just a, an insight that I got from uh, the 20th chapter of the book of Acts, about, probably about two months ago. The verse in Acts 20, 28 says to keep watch over yourselves and all the flock which the Holy Spirit has made you overseers. Now, this jumped out to me, of course, being in leadership in church, and it's Paul is really giving his charge to the church of Ephesus to uh, take charge of their responsibility, to know what their responsibility is in leading. And the first thing that he says is to keep watch over yourself. Now, I don't know how many of you have flown on a plane, but sometimes when they say those oxygen masks drop down, that you're to put yours on first, and then any children or infants or younger people or elderly people who may be beside you, you're to take care of yourself first. And Paul's giving us that 
Paul's reminding us as leaders that, was, that we need to take care of ourselves. I'm not good at self-care because I like to do for others. I like to be busy. I like to accomplish things. But Paul says our primary responsibility in leadership is to worry about ourselves, to take care of ourselves and make sure that we're nourished spiritually. I can't take somebody to a place or lead them to a place or encourage them to go to a place that I am not in pursuit of myself. And leadership, our first responsibility, is to take care of ourselves, um, to watch over ourselves, and then we'll be equipped and will be able to lead others and to take them to a deeper place in a relationship with Jesus. We're going to be jumping in and doing life journaling uh, here. We've been doing it, but we want to do it with everybody else. So stay tuned to our stories and different videos. And if you're on track with this reading plan, you'll be on track with us. And we can even talk to you about it when we see you in person. So happy reading. And I hope you really do take advantage of this. Anything else you like? Happy Monday.